hey hey happy day so wanted to do this week's reading and um the cards an interesting uh, thing happened with the cards you'll see as we go through them in our past position we have the six of swords so okay what I'm seeing in this card, what stands out to me, is that this figure here, if we just compare it in relation to what seems to be a child next to it, would be an adult. Cloaked in orange. Orange is the sacral chakra. It's about reproduction. What are we, uh, how are we creating in our lives? And it's like um, we are blocked from seeing the way forward because our mind is telling us what uh, we need uh, in order to feel safe and secure. There are four swords, so that's why I'm saying, talking about safety and security. Um, and also, if you look the side, it's like the seas are, or the waters, um, a little ripply. Um, it's not calm. So perhaps we are creating things towards our security in a very mental space to, rem to take us out of the um, uh, stormy waters for want of a better word and uh, we need to trust that we are being divinely guided so it's more about you know if we are released if we've released control and relinquished our need to manipulate then we will find ourselves going into uh, through this again there's the two um, which for me is your portal always so it's like you're going to have to go through a portal or we're going through a portal of uh, changing up how we do things in order to um, give us more security but I think what we need to be aware of is that um, we need to be following our hearts desires and not let the mind limit us too much from and six for me is that number of recreation of creation of reproduction and of a higher state of being so if we can learn to move out of this state of mental anguish about who we are and what's going on and just uh, if we've learned to just be at peace with where things are at and accept the truth um i think that you know uh, that will lead us to the current energies which are the page of wands and that's exactly it there is santiago he made it to the pyramids only to discover that the treasures he was seeking uh was an illusion in that two things one the adventure that he went on to get here was um a journey so uh, the treasure was not only the journey, but what he discovered in himself in getting here. There he is with the feather in his cap. That's your skills and your talents. And I talk often about uh, start where you are with what you have. And so this is him. This is someone who has made it through all the trials and tribulations and is at a state of saying, okay, what wonderful blessings do I have here and now to work with? Um, you know, if you can be in a state of abundance, which is actually a state of gratitude, then you will see, um, you will be a lot more grounded and you will be able to see your treasures a lot better. And you will actually see that all the treasures you need lie within you. And uh, it's about where, if I'm creating something, where do I want to plant my staff? in order for it to grow uh we have we might be repeating lessons but here's the difference or we might be feeling like we're having a restart but the thing is we're not starting uh from that uh, amateur state as that we were in before this time we have our skills and talents and experience we've learned the lessons so our progress forward um should be a little easier and the outcome card or looking forward the lovers so it's been coming up quite a lot in the readings and there's six again so uh and there's a third six to come 
so uh i did talk about the lovers before the only difference this time that i wanted to comment because um i did a little i like to do a little research when i have questions about cards and um so what i understand is this here is the tree of knowledge and uh we were led to eat from that tree of knowledge so when our consciousness work is awakened we are no longer blind to illusion and um when we realize that if we operate from our heart space uh really instead of the mental letting the mental aspects of life block us which are what seem to be the real things how can i afford my life um when you do things from love you do them with passion you naturally are a magnet attraction for uh whatever it is you attracting so your abundance will come you need to take a risk which is what the inside card the third six is about it's that leap of faith uh, you don't always need to understand what's going on in the journey and perhaps what the destination is sometimes you just have to say this is hard is i will make the best of this situation um, and the more you rely on yourself the more stable your foundations will be and then this tree here is the tree of life and uh, Adam and Eve were not supposed to eat from either of they could eat from all the plants on in the Garden of Eden anyone they were numerous and just to avoid these but yet they chose to um, open their consciousness and um, they were then evicted from the la the Garden of Eden in order to protect the Tree of Life. And um, my mind wants to go off on all kinds of conspiracy theory tangents. But, uh, so, the Lover's Card. Take a leap of faith. This is the Spirit Suit. Take a leap of faith. Follow your heart. Let it take you, uh, let it lead you, let it guide you. Because um, it's the highest path to follow um it's the in-between way it is the way through and the only way out is through so the spirit suit reflects your essential self in a guide and connection with life and nature here spirit is not something apart from life it is you engaging with life and all its aspects to learn the lessons that will guide you on your journey your thoughts, intentions, fears, dreams, and actions in love, sex, work. Oh dear. And money are the choices you make to grow and learn about yourself and others. And remember everything that's... Uh, nothing is happening to you except for that which came from you. So everything that's happening to you is a reflection of what you need to review in your life and address um, and it's accepting our good and our bad it's okay to uh, not be a perfect having a perfect human experience and it's okay to uh, slip and drink too much sometimes or um, have sex or eat too much or uh, I don't know take drugs whatever is bad lie cheat we all do it it is a fallible of being human and being on a journey a spiritual journey your challenge is to be the best version of God that you can be or godliness that you can be even in your weakness <coughs> of the human flesh and the card says action will remove the doubt that theory cannot solve and <coughs> in I've started doing consciousness uh classes if you're interested in joining it's a something that happens locally every two weeks either on a tuesday evening or on a saturday morning i can hook you up if you're interested but uh in this week's lesson it had a, one of the gaps that we talked about one of the gaps in manifestation is people think that it's all fine and well to have intention intention is the first step and then having a clear vision of what it is that you wish to attract and uh, manifest the gap is that it's not enough just to hold it in your mind's eye 
and in your thought process and, and create a very uh, vivid vision of what it is you're trying to achieve. You actually have to take some form of action. And um, the form of action can be in a thought, a, a word or a deed. Uh, but act taking actual physical action is the best uh, re action to take. It's more likely to lead you to your desired outcome. And uh, I just want to quickly say um, the number six, I'll read to you what it says here, and then we'll talk about 666 quickly, although I don't have much on it. But number six is about exuberance. You have experienced a breakthrough and are enjoying success and happiness. Revel in how wonderful, heady, and intoxicating it feels. Express yourself. And that's what, when you are in the most loving state of being for yourself and through that for others, you are only then best able to express yourself. When you do what you love, you are in the best, you are the best version of expressing yourself and creating. And so 666, we know from the Bible, is about the mark of the beast. And so I just wanted to read this to you. Um, it's from, it's a quote about the uh, mark of the beast. Textus Receptus wrote or said, and that no man might sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of man, and his number is six hundred and three score and six. And so, essentially, what I understand that to be saying, it's the same as the uh, w uh, the Wheel of Fortune card that we've been experiencing. And I talked about the underbelly of the beast. So we are experiencing karmic paybacks, and uh, we will be whether it's good or bad. We will. Be experiencing it and that is the mark of the beast so um, if you think about it <clears throat> Tesla talked about if you knew the magnificence of the three six and nine the numbers you would have a key to the universe and what's interesting about three of the number six is that there's three of them and they are the number six and uh, three six nine uh, or six 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 is 18 which if you add it together is 9 so it's this wonderful looping of be aware are you choosing to stay in the same karmic uh, loop and patterning or are you choosing to evolve into the best version through love that you can and uh, that's really all I have for today so Namaste in the cash and just a quick note don't forget if you want a personal reading you can go to my website and book it on there uh, and if you have any questions please dm and i'm happy to engage namaste thank you